What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be all about hair products when we talk about price versus quality. Let's get started. Alright guys, before we jump into this, I want to let you know that we are going to be comparing hair products across a very broad spectrum. Some that you can get in the drugstore or in Target or Walmart or anything like that, all the way to hair salons and super expensive stuff that you have to buy online. But uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. First up, we've got the Old Spice Forge. Now this hair product is claiming to be high hold, matte finish, and it's supposedly a putty. In my experience, as you can see, I've used a decent amount of this product. I mean, it was full all the way to the top and I've used pretty much a quarter of it. This is not like, oh, I just used it one time and I hated it. No, like I actually gave this product a chance and it is absolutely not good product at all. This costs around five or six bucks. So it's super, super cheap. And the thing about cheap hair products is that they, especially Old Spice and like Axe is that they, they have this really, really strong odor. It smells like a teenage locker room, but when it comes to actually doing what you want it to in your hair, it's not very successful. Like I said, it, it claims to be a high hold matte finish product, but it's more of a pomade than it is a putty, I would say. This product goes in pretty easily. It's pretty creamy to the touch. However, I, I find that when, when wearing this product, if I go out in the heat on a hot day, it just melts in my hair and it does not do a good job holding it up at all. So I would rate this on price versus quality at a solid two out of 10. All right, next up on our list is a classic one. It's the American Crew Fiber. So this is a medium to high hold product with a matte finish. Again, as you can see, I have used a fair bit of this. I probably used about a quarter of it. It's a lot more thick and a lot more firm than the Old Spice was, so it's a little bit harder to get out of the jar. And again, like, similar to the Old Spice, when this goes into your hair, it feels really great, but when I'm out in the heat in the hot sun, I, or even just throughout the day, I feel like it kinda just melts out of my hair. Not to mention, it feels quite thick when it's in your hair, especially if you don't use a blow dryer. The smell of this product kinda smells like a chemically Chemical mixed with lemon uh, doesn't smell very good at all. Ugh, gross. It kind of, it kind of, it actually kind of smells bad. It makes you kind of sick to smell it too much. It just, it stinks to me. It smells like chemicals. I don't like that. Also, another thing I noticed about the American Crew Fiber is that you really have to try and wash it out of your hair. It's kind of a pain in the ass. You need to use shampoo if you need to get it out of your hair. It's not really going to come out all the way with just hot water. So that's pretty annoying. Overall, I don't really like this product that much. It's okay, but I probably wouldn't use it again. The American Crew Fiber retails for $20, so it's actually pretty pricey. And again, you're not getting that much product. I believe it's three ounces of product for $20. I mean, that's pretty standard, but I personally would not get this product again based on the price point. But for the sake of this video, I had to compare it to the rest of them. So price versus quality, I would rate the American Crew a three out of 10. All right, next up is actually a very special product that I'm really excited to show you, and that is the Pacino's Matte. Pacino's, I've been seeing them all over the uh, hair pages on Instagram lately. They have a pomade and a cream-based hair product. I chose the matte because that's just kind of the look that I like to go for. I don't like a greasy or shiny product in my hair. This is a matte paste with a flexible hold and no shine. So I actually was super excited when I saw this at Target because I have been seeing their stuff all over Instagram, people promoting them like crazy. They have a crazy advertising scheme going on right now in the hair industry. This is a four ounce container, a four ounce container for only $14. So. It completely takes a dump on this American Crew Fiber at $20 and Old Spice, which is only two ounces. This is a lot more product for even less money. So when you look at this product, as you can see, I've used again about a quarter of it. This is a full jar of hair product. This will last you a couple of months, even if you use it every single day. It has a, a nice, subtle, clean smell. It doesn't stink. 
and it and it doesn't smell like any chemicals or anything like that so that's something that I really enjoy as well so I've been using this for about a couple of weeks in my experience it's a very creamy product very soft and easy to get out of the jar and it emulsifies like effortlessly in your hand which is amazing and when it goes in your hair it feels like it's gonna be pretty stiff but as soon as you put a hair dryer through it it softens right up you can't hardly tell you have it in your hair at all I like to use about a dime size rub it in my hair and use the hair dryer and then come back through with just a little bit more just to make sure it holds everything nice and tight I'm actually about to put some of this in my hair right now because I'm feeling a little loose up here right now. So look, just for the sake of showing you guys, that's how much I'm using. Not much at all, just enough to give my hair a little bit more hold right now. So I'm gonna emulsify that just like that. Look at that, look how creamy that is. That's amazing. And then emulsify it up. One, two, three, look at that. Already broken up, that's, that's crazy. So just add just a little bit like that. There we go, tidied it up, perfect. I really personally enjoy this product. I will continue to use it and I'll probably buy it again. All right, overall, I would say that the Piscinos Matte is a great pre or post styling hair product. So when it comes to price versus quality, I would rate the Piscinos Matte at a eight out of 10. Just because you get so much product for only $14, it's really, really solid. It feels great when it goes in your hair and it gets the job done. So I would definitely highly, highly recommend this product. Next up, we have the Paul Mitchell Reformer. You can get this at pretty much any drugstore or grocery store. I used to get it exclusively from my stylist and then I was able to find it in the store. But this is a Stronghold Matte Finish product. It's actually classified as a texturizer, which means it actually adds a little bit of density to your hair. And so if you have really thin hair, this is a great product to use for you. I have medium to thick hair, so it kind of doesn't affect me either way, but I do like the fact that it stiffens it up a little bit and holds everything in place really, really strong. As you can see, I have used like almost all of this stuff because it was my go-to for a really, really long time until I started branching out and trying other hair products. But this stuff is just incredible. It's really, really creamy and it has a super, super nice smell to it. It's not too strong, but it smells like, God, I don't even know how to describe it. It just smells amazing. It smells like really nice cologne, and that stays true when it's in your hair. You can kind of smell it really subtly, but I really, really love this product. I find this product actually doesn't melt out of my hair at all, no matter how hot it was in the summertime. This is my go-to product because it seemed to keep my hair held up really well all day, no matter what. Also, it is very water soluble, so it will wash out of your hair very easily as well. Price point of the Paul Mitchell is right at $20. So again, it's right in line with the American Crew. Compared to that though, I would say that this is better. Price versus quality, I would rate the Paul Mitchell at a seven out of 10, just because the price point is pretty solid. The amount of products you get, three ounces for $20, that's actually pretty standard across the board. So stuff holds up really well in the heat. It has that nice matte finish like I like, and it smells pretty nice. All right, next one. You guys have seen this one before too. I showed you this in my last tutorial. This is the Esquire Shaper. Now, last time I showed you guys the clay, the Shaper is pretty similar, but it's also a little bit different. So the Shaper is a stronghold low shine. This actually does have a, a little bit of a shine factor to it, but I would say that the low shine is, is stretching a little bit. I find this product that is actually pretty much a matte finish. And what I really love about this is that it's fibrous. So when you rub it in your hands and emulsify it, you can actually like clap your hands like this and fibers will like break off all over the place and you can actually like let those fall on your hair and what those fibers actually do and the reason that this is called the shaper is those fibers actually reset your hair throughout the day so like if it starts to go a little bit flat all you have to do is run your hands through your hair and reposition it and your hair will stand back up like you just put product in it again i freaking love this product it's absolutely amazing as you can see, I've used about half of it, and I've had this for about a month. The smell, again, is very subtle but clean, which I really, really enjoy, and this product is nice and creamy. It emulsifies really, really well. Not to mention, look at that packaging. Look at that. It's just so pretty. As a brand, I really do enjoy Esquire. I love the way their stuff smells, and I love the way their products go in my hair. I've mentioned this before. When you put Esquire products in your hair, 
it doesn't feel like you have a ton of product in your hair. It actually feels really soft. It still feels very light. Price versus quality, I would rate the Esquire Shaper an eight out of 10. Again, it is $25 for this size. It is a three ounce container just like the other two were. So it's again, it's a pretty standard price for the size and the amount of product that you're getting. But I just really love the way that this product goes in my hair and the way that it holds up throughout the day compared to the rest. And finally, the most hyped hair styling product ever to be created on planet Earth is the Hans de Fuco Claymation. I have been waiting to get my hands on this product for like three or four months now, but I did not want to buy it online. I wanted to find it in store, actually see it, actually smell it, and see if it was something that I was really interested in before I pulled the trigger, but I got lucky. I actually went into The Art of Shaving, which is a store, and they had a humongous shipment of Hans de Fuco products. So I got, I actually got the claymation and I got the quicksand. I'll talk about the quicksand another time. However, Hans de Fuco claims that this product is super high hold and matte finish. So a thing that Hans de Fuco is really known for is they don't add any preservatives to any of their products. They're all natural. So their products are actually very good for your hair. Unlike some of these other products that have some chemicals that can be harmful and damaging, Hans de Fuco doesn't add any of that stuff. They're completely all natural, which is something that I really really like so when it comes to uh, smell it has like no smell it kind of smells like a candle that doesn't really have a scent to it which is uncommon for most hair products you expect them to have like an extravagant smell but Hans de Fuco doesn't have a smell at all and I actually kind of like that it's good that Hans de Fuco is actually doing something that doesn't smell like anything it actually just does what it's supposed to do and hold your hair up. It doesn't have to have a smell to it. But as far as super high hold and matte finish, I do find this product to be very, very high hold. I wouldn't call it super high hold though. I do have like medium to thick hair. For as much hair as I have, and I put a decent amount of claymation in my hair, I would expect it to literally stand like straight up, but it doesn't really do that. I actually find that it's a little heavy in my hair. Maybe I'm just putting too much. I've only had this product for like a week. So I'll have to see based on a little bit more time. But as of right now, I find that it's actually a little heavy in my hair and it weighs my hair down a little bit. As you can see, I've only used a little bit of it. I've probably used it like three times, but this stuff is like, it's creamy, but I mean, it is thick. Like it is so, so waxy. Like, my finger is sticking inside the jar when I'm just putting it in there. But surprisingly, whenever you emulsify it in your hands, it actually warms up and breaks up pretty well. I would say that this is more of a wax than it is a clay, but I think that's what Hans de Fuco tried to do. They tried to make a hybrid clay wax mixture type thing. If that's what they were going for, they did it pretty well. So when it comes to Hans de Fuco, the pricing is actually very expensive. For 2.5 ounces of Hans de Fuco claymation, you have to pay $30. $30 for Hans de Fuco Claymation, and that is $10 more than all of these other products. So when it comes to price versus quality, I would rate the Hans de Fuco Claymation at a six out of 10, just because it is pricey for how much you get. Even though it is a good product and people rave about it, I don't think that price is justifiable. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out another video. If you like this content, hit that subscribe button down below and you can see when I post a video next. This series has been really fun so far. I like this little price versus quality series that I've got going on right now. You will definitely see some more videos like this from me. Smash that like button if you so desire. Leave your comments and thoughts down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.